Welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys have been following me for a few years, you know uh, a couple of years ago I did a truck cap camper build where I built out the whole inside of my truck bed to camp out of to go on fishing trips. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos where I built it or used it, I'll uh, link them down in the description below. I'll pop one up right here of the, uh, of the actual build. But part of that build was getting a 270 degree awning. And that awning honestly saved me multiple times so on a couple of trips that I went on. It rained and that was the only cover that we had. And I did a video, uh, kind of a review of just that awning a few years ago. And it was the OVS, Overland Vehicle Systems, 270 degree awning. At the time, it was a pretty decent awning for the price. I wanted something that was sturdy, a standalone awning that has all the solid framework that doesn't need to be tied down, have all these legs and stuff. You literally just unzip the bag, flip the awning out, and you're all set to start using it. Tried to look up how much I actually paid for that back then. It was a number of years ago now, but I want to say it was around four or five hundred dollars. And I had to actually buy the mounts that hooked that awning to the truck for another like eighty dollars. So, um, you know, I was somewhere in the ballpark of five to six hundred dollars invested in that thing. Recently, a company called Open Road has reached out to me, and they have an awning very similar to the one that I had. Um, it's a 270 degree awning, standalone, solid framework. Um, and they sent it over to me to try out and to review for you guys. It is $499 on the website at the date of this video. As far as getting a standalone awning that doesn't need supports and poles and tie downs and stuff, something that's really easy to use, that's a pretty good deal. This awning actually comes with the mounts. You don't have to buy all that stuff. It comes with all kinds of stuff and it actually has LED lights underneath the awning itself. But anyway, Josh has built a truck cap camper for his Tacoma and he just built it this this spring so this uh awning is going to go on his truck so he's on his way over here now we're going to take this thing out of the box i'm going to show you basically what it is let's go get this thing out of the box wait for josh to get here and we'll show you guys how we toss it on the truck it shouldn't take very long and then i'll we'll give you guys a look at this awning okay so i actually opened it the other day just to make sure we had the pieces of everything but this is how it comes you see the company's called Open Road. I'm going to link them down in the description below and leave a link to this awning if you guys want to get it. You can check it out. And you can see right here, these are the mounts that you use to mount to your uh, roof rack system or, or wherever you're going to mount it. And they actually give you three of them, which is pretty good. I had to pay $80 extra for these, for the awning that I got. So, um... I like how they package this. You've got um, all of your nuts and bolts in here. They've got mounting hardware that fits into the um, track system. You can see they've got like carriage bolt style uh, bolts in there. They've got all kinds of different mounting hardware. So we're going to dive into that in a little bit here. We've got some power cables, um, your strap for hooking the end of the awning to the vehicle as it's deployed. Uh, I think we got some stakes in here and I think it does come with a few poles and so did mine. They kind of, I never actually used them with mine and I'll kind of show you, but um, if it gets real windy, if you're out somewhere where it's real windy, you know, on an open area, you might want to tie it down at night. But I, uh, I always just was tucked in the wood somewhere so I could just leave it deployed and it was fine. But this is it right here. And this is a passenger side. Mine was mounted on the driver side. I asked him what side he'd want to mount it to. Here he is. Man of the hour. <laughs> uh Back it right in here. Yeah. Doesn't know what to do with all that power, I guess. All right, so Josh built a little truck camper as well for hunting and fishing stuff. He's got a little drawer here, it pulls out. Got stuff in there, gotta have these. 
Yep. And uh, so we're putting the awning on here. He's got a, he put this roof rack on the top of his cap. And I'll link this one down in the description below. It's just a generic uh, rack. I think you get it on Amazon. Yeah, a ladder rack. A ladder rack for a, you know, a truck cap or whatever. And similar to what I did, just bolted right through the cap. It's got a track system built into it, as you can see right here. So the, we're gonna utilize that. And these are the mounts that they give us for the awning. So we're gonna put bolts right through here, hook to that track and should be good. He's got um, these carriage bolt style things that go right into his track system. So you see, we slide that right in slide those in the track and then we can kind of line up our mount like this and bolt it right on. So while Josh is hooking those brackets on his roof rack, we're not going to use this third one. We don't need it. We only got two uh, roof rack bars, so this is a spare. And uh, I'm just sliding these little bolts into the channel of this so we can mount it to the brackets that we're putting on. So it'll kind of go like that. And they give you a bunch of different size bolts depending on where you're mounting it and stuff. So we just use the shortest ones there. I think that'll be fine. So if you don't have a track system like Josh has here, they give you another way to mount these with this plate. They give you some carriage bolts and then you just go up through the bottom of your rack like that and bolt it like that. So if you don't have a track system, that's how you mount it. Oh, you know what we could have done too? Mount it to these first and then slide it in there. This camera wasn't running when we did that, but <laughs> that one was. But uh, see, we got these, the sun's right in the way. We got these mounted up loosely. We might have to adjust a few things. But you can slide this whole thing on that track back and forth to get it where you want it. And I think we're going to move it in more on the vehicle too. So we'll do that. We'll get this thing secured and then we'll pop her open. Alright, so we got it all mounted on there. We're going to pop it open here. We may have to adjust how it sits on the truck. We want to see where... It opens on the back here, but looks pretty good. Definitely uh, a lot cooler under here. Yeah, see we got these fold down legs if it gets like really windy or something. You can pop these legs down. And they're just like a adjustable pole. Tighten it like that and that keeps it from bouncing. And you can hook some ropes off from there if you need to. But like I said, where we normally go, it's not that windy if you're off in the woods somewhere. So, I've never really had to use mine. You can see when he opens up the back of his truck, he's still got coverage there, but it's pretty centered on the truck itself, like that 
Yeah, it's like not too far. So if it's raining, you know, it, it'll run probably down in here, but you got a channel there, so it won't like. Oh, it I mean, you'd have to move it <laughs> like all the way forward if you didn't want if you wanted it to be over yeah. this. <laughs> and they also make like you can see it has a zipper inside of here. They make like side curtains for these, like full screen houses. Yeah, it's like an animal. Full size, full side curtains and stuff. Like you could just camp underneath the thing. Open road. Pretty sweet. Let's see, uh, you can see underneath here, it's got these strips. Those are supposedly LED lights, which are gonna be pretty sweet for camping because there's like no light at all and when I was camping with my truck I had lights inside of here to see out while I was cooking but the problem was you had to have the doors open and then the bugs get inside so this way you can leave that closed turn these lights on yeah all right so this is the power cord they give you it's got three plugs in there there's three lights oh it's a USB too you would expect if you're camping somewhere you get a little usb something battery pack or some type of like jackery or something you could plug this into all right camera it actually looks lighter on the camera than it is outside but we're gonna show you these lights so we got it hooked up to a little power source here just a usb and these little blue leds come on and you don't actually have to push a button with like we thought it's just uh you know you just touch it with your hand and you got yellow light or a white light and sort of an in-between color too so and it's got three lights on there lights it up pretty good that's probably the brightest setting right like that it's pretty good it's way brighter Yeah, that'll be all right. You can, if you're cooking right here, you can cook over the side of your tailgate and you can go plop in a chair and sit out here. Thumbnail. Yeah, as far as comparing it to my OBS awning, it's pretty similar. Uh, the the uh, quality of the fabric feels similar. Uh, the framing is a little bit different. I think mine was like a solid aluminum tube. It wasn't like this angle piece. Um, but it feels like similar quality. And for the price, it seems like it's a pretty good deal. Uh, and you get all the mounting hardware. You just buy it and it works. And there's Josh's drawer. Yeah, we did do a little fishing trip the other day where we slept in the back of our trucks. So this will be a sweet little add-on to have if it's hot and sunny out, if it's raining, or you just want to be undercover. It'd be sick. All right, so all in all, this thing was super easy to install. Probably the easiest thing that you can do. And they even give you the wrenches if you don't have them to install these things. They give you all kinds of different mounting options and it was super easy to get in there. We did it in probably 20 minutes, it was done. So make sure you guys subscribe and uh, to follow along and you probably see this awning in some other videos, maybe this fall and uh, next spring. Open road. I'm gonna leave them down in the description below. Big shout out to them for sending this over. Josh is gonna be trying it out for, well, the rest of this season and next year and stuff, so. Hopefully when we link up again, if he's got it on the truck, we'll tell you how he likes it and uh, see if she's still in working order. I assume it will be. It's pretty pretty good quality. So we'll check, uh, check out down in the description below, Open Road. Thanks for sending that over. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys have this awning or if you guys have the OVS awning, what you guys think of it. And uh, catch you guys in the next video.